for you? Is that what you think? No, I would never because my name is Claudia and I'm Clinton's wife. Babe, where are you? I'm at the office. Clinton, I am losing my mind. And you're a few seconds away from seeing the face of your wife on all news channel and every tablet as the mother of your ex-wife. Listen, what? Calm down, baby. Just calm down, please. Help is on the way. Okay, I, 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 I know you feel terrible right now, but please do not do something irrational. Please. Please. Just get her out of here. If not, I swear to God, I am going to pour her hot water. I understand. Babe, 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 I understand. And you have every right to do so, but please don't do it. Do not do it, all right? Please, please. I'll, I'll be there soon, please. Please, please. Do it. Do, just do it. Get her out of my house. Get her out of here. trying me and I may be forced to do something that we both will regret. Leave my house. Where, where is she? Oh, there you're pest. Ranting like a loose funnel, right? What? Why don't you just come down? Come down, open this door. Let's know who would do something that both of us will regret. Come down. Leave my house. My husband's house? My house? Of course it's my husband's house. That automatically makes it my house. Claudia, use flash. You are no longer married to him. Oh, is that what he laid on your door? Oh, no, no, no. It can be. Because you are just an opportunist. You feel you have landed by stealing my man, right? Is that what you think? Claudia, I am not going to say this again. Leave my house now because you're trespassing. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of trespassing, you primitive swine? Do you know? Oh, if you were really active in school, you will know I am not the one trespassing. You are. Because I am not the one living with a man that is not my husband. You, you know what? You, you're just an idiot. And I will deal with you. I will deal with you. You feel you can take my man away from me, right? You are a bitch and oh, I will deal with you. She's not Claudia. She's not a bitch, Claudia. And. He stopped being your husband a long time ago. What you're doing now is nuisance. I trespass, should I remind you? And who are you, mister? I am Mr. Okono Satoni. And right now, you are breaching the restraining order issued against you. The person you should really tell that is this popper up there. Tell her because she's the one that has taken my husband away from me. My husband! Ma'am, you need to leave this premises right now or you will force me to unleash the full strength of the law against you. Oh. Yeah, I'd love to see you do that. I'd go to see you do that. Lady Gladia, oh, what are you doing here? Thank what do you think you are doing? Oh, Kiki, okay, thank you for coming. Thank God you are here. Please, can you please explain to these people, I mean, this, this dummy up there, that this is my husband's property. And I want her to leave this place this minute. Please, can you please tell them? I'm sorry, madam. You shouldn't be here. Excuse me? Are you not my attorney? Is this not your job? 
You're not supposed to be here. Within this facility, you are violating the court's direct order, and that can be consequences. I hope you know that. Thank you for coming. Hmm? Please restrain your client. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to this man. Do your job. I'm doing my job. Excuse me, do your job. I'm what job are you, you doing? out of this facility. It's not fair. Let's go. Come down and leave my husband's property. Come down and leave. You should take her out of here and not me. She's the one that's taking away my husband. My husband, my husband, my husband. This is my husband's property. Take her away from here and not me. She can't be thrown out. What, what are you saying? She's legally married don't, don't, to the don't, man. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. Don't, don't, don't say that to me. Okay. Let's go. I am not done with you. I am not done with it's you. Okay. You think you, you think I will let this slide? You think I will let this slide? I am not done. I am coming back for you. You are not doing your job. Okay? You are not doing your job. I am not going to let this Take her out of here. here. I am coming back for you and I admit it. Leave my house. Get Kate, you need to stop it. What is Kate, wrong you need to stop it. What is the meaning of this? What Why is you stop it? Because you are not doing your job. What is it? Exactly what I'm doing. Keeping you away from trouble so that you won't land yourself in more trouble than what you have already done. And what is that supposed to mean? I should be the one asking the question and you, Lady Gladia, giving me answers. What were you doing there? Huh? Who are you working for, Kate? And what's that supposed to mean? It meant what it's supposed to mean. Kate, the last time I checked, I hired you. I pay you monthly. So you are not supposed to stand here and lecture me like one of your students because I am not. <laughs> I am your legal counsel. One of them. It's my job to keep you away from trouble. But the way you are listening out in every minute, every opportunity you have, is making it extremely difficult for us to do our job. <laughs> Kate, if you are doing your job, mischarge and be a lawyer. You wouldn't allow that girl to step into my husband's property, taking my place where I am supposed to be. You would not. <sighs> Lady Gladia, you are violating restraint order issued against you. Do you know what that means? Do you have a clue of what will happen if Mr. Kono files a case against you? Violating, which I'm pretty sure he will. Hmm. You don't know shit. You don't know. Kate, Kate, I'll advise. You go and learn your job. Not to sit down every day here looking for a new vocabulary to unleash on me. Come on, tell you something. I am a fighter. And if you refuse to do this with me, tell you something, I can do this alone. And if anybody stands on my way, I will crush the person. I mean, I will crush everyone that stands on my way. Get that? I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana, anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Why is she so impossible? Anytime, anywhere, until I'm chotty him now, chop. Yakotoba. I be bad egg, I grieve. If you do anything at all. Elota, no, 
I'm still here, but she she left. I don't know. I don't know, but I I feel she's going home. No. Yes, sir. Sir, you know Gladia is a very difficult woman. I think we need to pressurize her so that she can see reason. She's threatening everybody. And I wonder what she feels she can do. Yes, sir. No, no problem, sir. Everything is okay now. Um, I'm in my car. Okay, sir. I... <clears throat> I expect some gesture from you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I will keep you posted. All right. Take care. <sighs> yeah, what they think, I don't care. What they say, what will on my Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and natural. How are you doing? I'm okay. Just a bit worked up. I am really sorry. You had to go through this, Millicent. I'm really sorry. I will put her in her place. Trust me. I will. I will put her where she belongs. Sorry, Mr. Kono. I had to come here as fast as I could. <sighs> Marissa, this is the third time in three months. Hmm? Why does she keep doing this? Why? Look, I understand that she's retarded. But this, mm, Barista, I will not take. Um, you have to let us do what we know best to do. That was what I was telling your wife before you walked in. We'll put her in her place. You really think that I'm going to confront a character like Claudia? Barista? No. So, so what are you going to do? Not at all, Barista. Everything goes for a man who's defending his home, Barista. I'm upset that idiot buys into my house in my absence, Barista, to traumatize my wife. Look at her. And how do you expect that I will take this? That I should sit still and do nothing about it so that what it would happen over and over again? Huh? See, whatever you do on your own now, we amount to illegality, even crime. Is that so? Yes, you have to let us handle this. How exactly do you intend to handle this, Barista? I'd like to know. I will set up a meeting with Claudia's lawyer and see if the amendment can be put to the restraining order. I will make her stick to it. By hook or crook. Please, I'm begging you, let us handle this. I'll do 
what you have to do, Barrister. Do your job. I'll attend to my wife. Okay, I'll find my way out. I be bad egg, I agree. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. Oh. Now me be half on the leggy, oh. Yeah, what's over? Ah, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yes. I am suggesting we schedule an urgent meeting, if possible today. We need to cage that lady legally before she. Make somebody commit a crime that can be avoided. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, I, I will expect your call. I'll wait for your call. Okay, thank you. I be bad egg, I grieve. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to. Look, I know that this is hard. I know that you're not happy. I'm also not happy, baby. I mean, we did not bargain for this. But trust me, we're going to solve this problem, please. How do you think I feel, Clinton? going crazy. Your ex-wife has been coming here to threaten me, my family, everything. How do you think I feel about all of this? Bad. It's hard, I know. But please. I'm not sitting still, baby. I will solve this problem. Believe me. Can you? Yes, I can. Listen, that retarded woman is trying to force me to do something that isn't right. She wants me to do something that is unlawful. Would you want me to do something like that? No. I've been talking to the lawyers. You know, we're taking legal steps on how to, you know, cover her of her excesses and, and get her to stop. Please, we're working on it. Clinton, I know that you are doing something about it. But from what she has continued to do, it is obvious that what you're doing is not good enough. Ah, baby. Don't say that. I'm trying. Okay? Look, okay. If you have ideas, you, 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 you can tell me. You're my wife. You can advise me. I would listen. Wait, why, can't, why can't you just get her out of our lives? Why can't you get her out of our lives for good? Why? I get her up, but you mean with what we should turn her off? Come on, baby, no. Claudia isn't worth it. No, I won't let her make me a murderer. No, come on. And who's asking for murder? I don't want to be a murderer too. Please, can you just get that crazy ex-wife of yours out of our lives? I am married to you. And I want to live in my house in peace. I, that's understandable. This is hard for me too, baby. But you know I always take care of you. You know that I always come through for you. I'm here to protect you. All I ask is that you walk with me on this, all right? We're taking steps. Just be a bit more patient. And we'll solve this problem. Please. Please. I need some fresh air. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. Claudia. I beg you, hold your hand. Claudia. Claudia, please. 
please just leave us alone leave my wife and I you know, just just go oh Cynthia why are you sounding as though I am the one holding Millicent from doing something she's a woman for crying out loud and she's handling her family to the best of her ability I do not mean to argue with you but you know what I'm saying. Oh no, I do not. The same way this came as a root shock to you is the way it came to me. Claudia has refused to accept the fact that they are divorced. And this is causing a big problem in my friend's house. And that is where I expect you to come in. Yes. Come in? Exactly. How? Encourage your friend to deal with that woman. She's making life miserable for the poor woman in her matrimonial home. And that is wrong. Okay, Cynthia, can I correct an impression here? The way you handle situations are totally different from the way other people do. And Millicent is handling hers differently. Please, can we allow her run her family the way she wants to? Really? <laughs> she will wake up one morning to discover that her husband's head has thrown her out of the house and retained the man. And that will happen if she does not act fast. Okay. Well, my husband is on this. I also, can we please change the topic? It's okay. Really? You mean it? Dorothy, you know you needed to have been there. You needed to see her face. You know I have done this few times. I have never ever seen her face that petrified. Well, I've never been felt this proud of myself, trust me. <laughs> High five, girl. <laughs> you see? If you have started fighting this matter from the very first beginning like this, I bet you Clinton wouldn't have the guts to leave you for that opportunist. Dorothy, you know me, right? You know how calm and gentle I can be. I mean, I was just trying to settle things, settle our differences. He wouldn't just wait. Boom! He goes to live with his mistress. Who does that? <laughs> and he expects me, Claudia, to just sit, fold my hands, and watch him disgrace me? No, my name is Claudia. <laughs> I can never allow that, come on. Baby girl, you know I always say this. No woman should take nonsense from any man. I mean, they are the pigs, and yet they pretend to be the victims. Oh well, I refuse to be that woman who would walk over. I am no longer that naive and little girl he picked up from the village. Very good. I am not. You're not. I will torment him. I will not let him be until he chose that opportunist back to the street where she belongs. I will not rest. On a second thought, baby girl, in a situation where Clinton is unable to take it and decides to fight back, what are you going to do? <sighs> oh well, I'm supposed to be somewhere in next hour. And I should be leaving now. Mm -hmm. Well, as for Clinton, he's my husband. And I know him too well. I shall know how to handle him. I trust you. All right. I'm waiting. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I 
love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. Now me be happy in Legio. With all due respect, Lenny colleagues and friends, I am done waiting. Oh, something is definitely wrong with your client for keeping us here for hours. And I don't want to be a party to whatever nonsense it is. <clears throat> Mr. Kono, please, can we leave? Can we walk out? What is the problem with you, Claudia? You know this meeting was slated for 1 p.m. You said you are 10 minutes close to this place. Then why do we have to wait for, for over an hour? Why? Is Claudia not what waiting for? Come on, uh, gentlemen, you need to learn how to treat a lady. Trust me. You are fashionably late, madam. You know, when you put it that way, I could accept. What is she doing here? Stan, what is she doing here? She's participating in this meeting. Given that she's the one that pulled you from the premise of your ex, after you've clearly been no reasonable doubt, violated the restraining order on you. Well, I do not want her here. You need to leave, Kate. I don't want you. Well, I'm sorry, madam. Both. Is the directive of the firm's CEO. I must be here. <laughs> this, is, this, this is unbelievable. If the ladies are done muffling whatever it is you have going on, can we actually get this meeting started? And of course, with your client tendering a befitting apology for keeping us here for hours. Excuse me? Apology? Yes. Apology for what exactly? Time is money. And in this profession, we keep to time. You kept us waiting here for hours. Oh. The least you should do is apologize without being reminded. Do you have to stick around this for too long? Do you have to do that? What am I even doing with these people? Why would I be seen around with these characters? Why? Um, guys, um, please, let's all um, settle down, uh, get our acts together and get to the reason we're all seated here, please. Uh, if you will, please. Hey, it's going to be fine. J just Calm down, okay? When? When is it going to be fine? When? Soon. Believe me, soon. All you need to do is stay strong. Hang in there for your husband. And do you think I haven't been doing that? But that's all I have been doing. I have, I have been trying to stay away from her. Pretend as if she doesn't exist, but 
that woman is just like a leech crawling all over. I know. Believe me, I I totally understand you. At least um, she was my friend when when she got married to my husband's best friend, and I can tell you that she is totally annoying. But trust me, whatever she's doing, she's trying to get at you. She wants you to say or do something. Oh, and she has, hasn't she? She has. I almost ruined her face. I was going to go all out to do something terrible to her. I, I would have been a murderer by now. But you did not. Sweetheart, your, your sweet and beautiful conscience wouldn't let you do that either. You, you did not. Mm. Ah. She called me a husband snatcher. A homebreaker. <sighs> Tell me, do I look like one? Do I? No. Obviously, no. You did not steal anyone from her. I mean, Clinton came up to you at his own free will, got married to you. She is the one who ruined a happy home with Clinton, with her insatiable needs. Sweetheart, I am telling you, do not let him go. Because obviously we know Claudia, she's just a barking dog. Mm -hmm. I would have laughed at it if I did not firsthand see what she did to Clinton's life. She ruined him. She ruined him for the rest of the world. Come here. But you, you picked him up back again. You gave him love that he thought he would never have. You made life meaningful for him again. What else? Sweetheart, whatever Claudia does, it doesn't stop Clinton from being your husband. It will never change. Okay? Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> this is preposterous. Why would I have to pay such hefty fee? What for? Did I steal? Actually, you did more than stealing. Yes. You trespassed into my client's premises. Traumatized his household. And... Oh, 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 oh. You mean his little hole? Look, madam. If you are smart, you will allow this meeting proceed without any unnecessary delays. Yes, be reminded that this meeting is being digitally recorded and any uncourt language you employ here can drag you to the court of law. Yes. Listen, I will not allow you people to intimidate me with your legal jargon. No way. Because I am well grounded. I know my right. My right? Who's this man? The man you all are trying to take away from me. But you know what? You all are joking. Because this, this will not work. Lady Claudia, you think this is a joke? <laughs> we are way past moonlight time, Lady Claudia. You oh, you, 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 you. You just shut up. You know what's good for you, cockroach? Keep quiet. Shut up. Please, I want to hear people with mouths, with a nose, ears. Even when I know they are not making any sense. You know I could sue you for your words, Mr. Benna. You better think before you speak. Point of correction. My name is Claudia Pierce. And you have no right to advise a lady of my course. Right? With all due respect, Lady Claudia, would you allow us to do our job? Or do you want to make yourself your own legal counsel? 
Fine, if that's what you want. My learned colleague and I have a better place to be. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> I'm very sorry. I think I can contain her for now. Eight million naira for damages. I think that is far too much. I mean, she didn't destroy anything in that premises. All she did was to rant and yell. Please. Rant and yell. Just rant and yell. She traumatized my wife. My wife has been traumatized since yesterday. You think it's normal? Um, um, Mr. Connor, please calm down. Oh, no, I am okay, very, very calm. Sir. Oh, we, we just calm down. Okay. I'm calm, sir. I'm very calm. I'll have you know that your client here did this deliberately. Oh, she's been doing this to me. But this time around, she targeted my wife just to hurt me. Claudia, what do you want from me? I ask you because I am certain that somewhere in the laws of this country, there is a provision for how we treat people with mental imbalance. What do you want from me? Mr. Kuno, please calm down. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Listen. I want one thing. Just one thing. Stay away from me. Stay away from my wife. Stay away from my household. I hear to all the times. Imbued in the restricting order. Because I cannot promise you that the next time you come to my home without my consent, that your body will not be dragged out without a bullet in the middle of your head. Whoa! So rich coming from you, Clinton. I never knew you, you have such balls. Clinton! Stan, did you hear that? He said he will kill me. Did you hear that? That's not what he meant. And what does he mean? I clearly heard him. I heard him clearly bullet. Bullet that clearly comes with a gun. A gun that can actually kill. So what are you saying? Listen, he did say that, but he doesn't mean it. He's clearly angry. I was angry too. We toyed together. We built our success together. And after that, what did he do? He threw me out. Out to go be with that snatcher. What? What did you say? But did you just call my wife Snatcher? What? You heard me. Would you do? Please. Please. You call my wife what? Snatcher? What would you do? Clinton. Please. You call my wife Snatcher? Would you do? I did. Tell your client to be guided. Please. Tell your client to be guided. I will. You know what? I'm done with all of this. The next time. You cross my path and come by my home. You are going to face full prosecution. I am done trying to fix this out of court. I'm out of here. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Do you know what? Hey, hey, excuse me. You see that man? That man is the best. And I, Claudia. I must be with the best. So get to work and know what to do. No, just stand on my way. I 
beg you hold your hand device oh. I love to raise dust I love to see people in pain I love to break people hearts. You take care of yourself She's crazy. She's literally crazy. I've done everything you've asked me to do to stay away from her. But she won't let me be. You need to calm down. You see, what I see here is a psychological warfare aimed at making you to lose your cool. And probably do something outrageous. And by then, you would have lost and she would have succeeded. You see, you don't have to play into, his, into her hands. You, you need to be calm. Ignore her. I'm as calm as I can be. But this nonsense has to stop. You know she wouldn't do anything right. What do you mean she wouldn't do anything? She had a plan in her head, thought it through. Made her attempts at actualizing it. You're telling me that she's not evil. What are you saying, Joe? If I were you, I wouldn't put anything past that woman. I understand you. Look, I assure you, we are doing everything within our power to get that woman out of your head. But you must ignore her. She's already out of my life. I just want you to make sure that it remains that way. You know it wouldn't have been possible if you two had a child together. Oh, well, thank goodness we don't have a kid together. Now, I want you to do your job. I don't pay you every month to advise me. Do your damn job. Cage that woman. Trust me, I'm working. If you have to apply the law to cage her so that she can stay out of my space, do so. Trust me, I'm working on it. Thank you. Have you seen it? Oh, that lady is something else. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to take care of her my way, okay? Don't worry, I'll take care of that my way. Huh. Well, can someone just tell me the implications of what just happened? Uh, we might not be presenting it from the angle of legal implications. But I think Mr. Okono is done trying negotiations with you. <laughs> like he wants to take me to court? Like it did three years ago. Is, isn't that enough? I'm sorry, madam, but you know. But nothing. Would you please do me a favor, young lady? Shut your mouth and leave here. <clears throat> did, did you just say that to me? Ayon, who are you? Who are you? Would you just shut your mouth and leave this place? Because I want to talk to people who are learned. I understand the application of the rules of justice. Please. A day is coming that I will remind you of the rules of justice. I will. I'm out of here. I will. Stan? I saw the way that her of a lawyer looked at you before she left. What is going on between the both of you? That's none of your business. I've told you not to dumble into my personal affairs. <laughs> So then I think I pay you well enough to know what's going on in that your private life. You know how I am, right? Claudia, this is my office. The last thing I need now is scandal. <laughs> scandal? Like you care? Yes, I actually care a lot. Come on, young lady. How did, you, how did you get here from talking about your ex-husband trying to see your ass for obvious reasons? You are here talking about how to scream it in my office. No, no, no. Please. That's unprofessional. I am just a lady. 
trying to exclude myself from this from this professional bullshit. I, I just want to do what I like and get away with everything. Yes. Okay, um, <clears throat> at least can't go to a hotel. Yeah, you can check into a room. I'll check into another room. <laughs> there we can connect on our own. <laughs> I think that would be better. Go to a hotel. <laughs> When I can do whatsoever that I want to do right here and now. If I stand, I want it here and now. Because I know you cover my ass. Claudia. Claudia. Stan, listen. I do not want her on my case anymore. She's actually good with her work. That's why she's the only spare representative assigned to your case. I do not care how you do it, but I am saying I do not want her on my case. I don't want her. You know very well that I'm just an employee. I'm not a partner here, meaning I don't have the jurisdiction to decide who is assigned to which case and when. I'm afraid. You just have to stick with her, you have no choice. <laughs> of course I do. And I will make sure of that. <sighs> Claudia, can we please not go into the game? Please. And, and I need to even ask you this. If a client is not comfortable with the way her representative is handling things, she has the right to complain, right? I, I, I remember that is a policy of your company. I will not forget that in a hurry. So what are you saying? Claudia. You and I know this very well. We know this very well. She's very, very good. Come on. Why you why why would why would dragon it like this? Why? Oh son. Don't worry. I will make sure you sit on my case. Have a nice This lady is just a bitch. I just wonder who have her as a wife. I don't care what they say. Wepolo no manya. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Does it mean you're jobless or what? Okay, don't tell me you've been standing here all this time. For what exactly? Madam, do not pinch things against people working for you as your saviors. Only fools do that. And who is my savior? You? Be very careful with me, all right? I be bad egg, I agree. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand. Why is she not helping herself? I love to raise dust. I love to. Hi. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Uh, just um... It's okay. You know, it's totally okay for you to admit how exhaustively pain in the house that woman can be. I mean, it's okay. Nobody can hold you to that. Because it's thrilling for me. You know, she can be a handful. Handful, eh? <laughs> By the way, what was she doing here for so long? We actually had a long discussion. A lot of things came up. That lady, no matter how stupid she is, she's still my client. Do you think it's right for you to discuss extensively with my client in my absence? Do you think it's the right thing to do? Claudia, um, I think she's, um, um, 
she's not just actually happy with your blood nerves and irresistible, undeniable, um, defiant nature. She feels you need to stick with her, even when you don't have to agree with it. Uh -huh. So she does not want me questioning her actions. <laughs> it won't happen. It will not happen. Okay, fine. If that's how she wants it, she has to understand that she's making it far too difficult for us representing her. Besides, just because I have to defend a crook and seek action sometimes doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything she does. Yeah, I know. I know. No, you don't. You don't see anything wrong with what she does. Probably because you don't want to lose the best lawyer of the year this firm has ever had. But not me. Not me. I am not blind to the truth, no matter how crooked and twisted I have to make it, just to make sure she walks out of there as a victim and not as a pulpit. She will surely send me to prison if she find out what we just did in the office now. Be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to rest. That man is just so impossible. So, he no longer wants simple dialogue and negotiations. Hmm. Hmm. What does he think? That I will be threatened by this and stop trying to, to, to gain what rightfully is mine? No way. No way in hell because he is mine. Mine forever. And it's just going to be a matter of time before he will come back crawling back to me. I promise him that. Hmm. Oh, 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 yes, I remember you. I noticed how your woman was staring at me. Oh, well, I love to punish such women that are so insecure. Very nice, my darling. I will save this number, then call you later and fix an appointment. I just want to let you know that I like you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, baby. Hello, my desire. How you doing? I'm good. And you? Well, I'm just with my main man, Clint. You want to say hi? I know you are. Tell him he'll be fine. Um, Millicent just had lunch. She's exhausted, so she's resting. Wow. Wait, I need to tell you something. Do you know that I love you so much? Do one thing for me. Take your friend out. Um, get him to loosen up. Let him stop beating himself up. Whatever happened is not his fault. Millicent will do the same, so she's gonna pick up. Everything is, is going to be fine, okay? Baby, you never cease to amaze me. How come everything that seems to hurt 
You just make it so easy. Mm-hmm. And that is why you love me, huh? You see, let me tell you something. That is just one. I love you so much. In so diff in so many different ways, I love you. But for this man, you are the bomb, I must tell you. Mm, thank you, baby. I love you too. And go have fun. Hey, make sure you don't come home smelling alcohol. You know what I'll do to you. <laughs> babe, you know I wouldn't even dare do such a thing. I know what you want. I don't want to get you pissed tonight. You know tonight and night now. Thank you for saying that. You always have your way to my heart. <laughs> okay, baby. Catch you later. <laughs> I love you, sunshine. Okay. You just keep being pretty, keep being sweet, and I'll meet you at home. Okay? Hey. Bye. Bye. How's your woman? Very well, very well. See, guy, calm down. Huh? Stop beating yourself about this issue. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, uh, I hope so. Because I'm worried. You know, sometimes I just uh, feel that the next time it happens, she may just decide to give up and just pour it on me. Because I don't know how long she's going to deal with this. She won't. See, guy, that girl loves you so much and to leave you hanging. She wouldn't do that. I know she loves me, but everyone has their stretch limits, you know? Dude, see, if there's anyone is going to be merely alone, it's her one, not Claudia. It's going to be your mother, the almighty O'Connor. Remember when she blatted to refuse her because she wasn't better than your ex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And she needed time for you to recover. If she did not actually run at that time, why she ran? Who makes you think she's going to run now? I hope you're right. You know, you know, the past few nights are really the first time that I've had her with me, but still did have her. If you know what that means, she does not deserve all of this. Yeah, you don't deserve it either. Please believe me, everything is going to be fine. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> See, now let's take this down the road, okay? Let's just squash it down the road, please. Ah, no, 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 no. Not, not, not today. Okay, I, See, I'm going home. No, 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 don't even bring that attitude. Don't bring it. You had what Dana said, you had her over the phone. She said she needed time to wrap her mind up over this issue. Guy, see, you look unwell now. I, I, I don't like the way you're sounding. You're my friend, you're my man. You can't be looking like this. <laughs> you, you're fine. strong. Let me. Bro, let's go and quarter some bottles. Ah. Ah, what is it? Talk to me. What is it? What is it? Talk to me, baby. Come on. What is it? Ah. And I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. I was mad at you when none of this was your fault. There is no way you would have wanted this. There's no way you would have prayed for any of this to happen to you. I'm sorry. I should have been more supportive, more loving, more caring, more more everything. I failed you. Oh no, you did not. Yes, I did. No, baby, come on, don't talk like that. You have not failed. But I did. Baby. Please, just because you refuse to say it doesn't make me a saint. Yes. I was sad and mad about everything. But treating you like you invited this into our home, Give me. 